What is up everyone? So today we began on a new project. It's gonna be a pretty simple one, is a washer and dryer pedestal. So uh, my client had some wire nets, you can see it right here, that she wanted to use. And it's some pretty cool sturdy drawers. And so we're gonna build an encasing around it so that she can put her washer and dryer on top of it and then have her loads of clothing under it. So again, very simple. We're gonna use some plywood, we're gonna use some poplar for the face framing, and then we're gonna use a lot of dados and, and rabbits. So yeah, let's go and go ahead and get started. We're gonna start cutting some plywood for the top and the bottom, the sides, and then routing all the, the grooves. the top and the bottom what I'm gonna do let me focus here yep what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait to cut the sides just so that I make sure that I dial in the, the rabbits and the grooves so I'm using a 23 30 seconds this is an oh whatever that brand is can you see that yeah and it took me a while to purchase a set of uh, set of blocks but man i really like, enjoy it it's having it and, and again you can go without them but you can be more precise anyway so i'm using that to the, define uh the groove the rabbit again right here at the end and now that i have it i'm using my um square to be able to mark the whole okay so that's going to be right there a rabbit now uh the ones at the bottom are going to be all the way through the ones on the top are going to be stop rabbits. And so basically, uh, I'm going to stop uh, an inch and a half or so, so that you don't see it at the front. And again, that will make more sense later on. Uh, I also have a quarter inch one that I'm going to use to make sure that I go down a quarter inch, but I'll mark that in just a second. And I'm going to use my router to begin cutting them. So yeah, wish me luck. to cut the dados and the rabbits in the top and bottom. Things are going well. I had a couple mess ups with the router just put in here before it was fully off so always be careful with the router. But I'm using the this, the, the client provided this. It's called Alpha uh, Runner, three runner drawer. But also she wants me to keep it as low profile as possible. And so because of that, I'm gonna cut them right here with the angle grinder and then we're gonna start, start to assemble it. I still need to cut the sides. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to paint it maybe before, I don't know, I'm still trying to decide what to do, but it's getting close to assembly time. So it will be three runners here, and they will come out. That's where you can put your laundry, and then obviously the wash and dry will be at the top. So it's a pretty cool, uh, simple design.
All right, guys, uh, it's a new day. We are going to start on the face frame for the pedestal. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have an inch and a quarter on the sides and the center, I guess that's a style, the styles, I think. And then about an inch for the rails. And that's gonna allow it, you know, it's gonna look cool. Um, but then once that is done, I need to cut the back. And at that point, it's basically begin to assemble. I'm gonna need to sand everything, probably to 120, put, um, oh man, English is hard. Uh, put, what is that called? The white thing, the primer. We're gonna prime everything. Um, and then we're using pure white from Sherwin Williams, uh, Emerald. Uh, and so it's gonna be a pretty simple thing. Uh, there will be some trim at the bottom, probably some cut around, but we're almost on the home stretch. So yeah, let's keep going. Let's get this face frame going. Oh, okay, real quick, this is gonna be the back. Uh, the back is going to be uh, removable. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna uh, stain or prime this as well, paint it, be ready. And then I'll drill six uh, holes with uh, threaded inserts. And that would allow this back to be removed, but then also will give it the, the strength uh, from, from side to side since the washing and dry will be on top of this. Um, yeah, that's what we've been so far.
So I'm um, basically a. Well, turn it up a little bit more. Okay. Basically, I'm at a stubborn point here in Texas because it's hot. But um, I added some trim here at the front. It's just quarter inch uh, poplar. I ended up ripping it with the table saw and then getting it and sanded everything. As you can see, I'm using putty to cover the screws and the brat nails. And this is basically what it's gonna look like. Uh, the back also, I have a removable and that's part of what the client wanted to be able to access it. But I'm going to get two by fours and create three frames, basically. And those frames uh, will go behind uh, the baskets and that's why we'll keep them from moving back. There we go. Uh, and then that also will give a structure in about the center of the pedestal because I want to make sure that it's super sturdy, you know, with the dados, rabbits, the screws, the glue and those structures I think is gonna be plenty strong. Uh, also gonna get a quarter round just for decoration, decoration bit down here. But uh, basically on the home stretch, we need to get some paint. Uh, we're gonna paint it white and have it ready hopefully by the end of next week. So yeah, not too bad. Let's keep going. Ah, fly.